Today we're going to go through our pickling process with you and show you how we do our pickles. So the first thing we're going to do is harvest our pickles, our cucumbers, to make pickles. Um, you want to get them, this is a pretty big one, but we might get them any size that you want for the size of pickle that you're wanting. Now you don't want to wait for too long. You want to get them, even this is a little bit small, but I don't want to get these again tomorrow. So we're going to do these tonight. Let's see. Uh, that's about, oh, there's one more. Okay, now let's go pickle these guys. The next thing we want to do is to wash our cucumbers. And this, the purpose of this is to get all the little bumps off of the side. They have these little spines that grow on them. We also want to get like any flowering bits like this. We want to get that off there, the dirt, anything like that. And then like this one has a little bit of a stem left. So we're going to just pop that guy off real quick. Just real quick. There we go. Make sure we get them all washed and get them in there so that we can do the next step. Okay. Now that we have the cucumbers cleaned, we want to get them into a tub that's going to fit all of them in there and we want to fill it up with water to the top of the cucumbers. I want to make sure that it's nice and flat and get, get some water in there. And then once we get it all filled up in there up to the cucumbers, then we're going to put the rest with ice and we're going to keep it like that for two hours so that it can chill these cucumbers so that they'll be nice and crispy in the jars. Now we wait. So the next thing we're gonna do is mix up the brine. For our recipe, we need 12 cups of water, four cups of white vinegar. This has to be at least a 5% vinegar. And then we need two thirds of a cup of salt. We're choosing to use rock salt this year. And then we wanna bring that to a boil. So once the brine has come to a boil, we need to turn it off and let it cool off. So what I've got going on right here is just going to sit. Then stage next. Okay, so we're going to check on our pickles. It's It's been just a little while, but it hasn't been two hours yet. But as you can see, the ice is already melting. So we need to check on this every now and then, make sure it's really full of ice. And we're going to stir these guys up to make sure that they're all getting really, really ice cold. So I'm gonna to top these guys off with another little bit of ice just to get them really cold. Okay. Okay, the next step in our process is to use sanitized jars. These have been in our oven at 200 degrees for at least 10 minutes. They have to be at least that. And then they'll be sanitized. And then we're going to take a head of dill and put it in each jar. We're going to go ahead and add half a teaspoon of dill seed to each jar as well. Now your, your dill might just be dilly enough, but ours is not this year. So we're going to go ahead and dill it up because we like a dilly dill pickle. Okay. We're also going to put in a clove of garlic that's been di divided in half. So put two of these halves in each jar. Now that the pickles have sat for two hours and have gotten nice and cold and we've got our jars all sanitized like Stacy showed you and it's got the, the uh, dill and the garlic and the dill seed in it. Then what I normally do is I grab, I try and grab pickles that are close to the same size and I stuff them in the jar. Now with this recipe we found that it works good for whole cucumbers. It also works good for cucumber spears. Um, so the, the uh, cucumbers that were a little bit bigger than what we normally would like for pickles, um, we cut them into spears and this works good for that. Um, we also will make some hamburger chips, um, you know, dill pickle slices, 
we uh, slice them up on a uh, mandolin and fill them that way or we do them whole so after you get all of the cucumbers stuffed in there and I try and get as many as I can in there that's why I'm the one that does this part um, you don't want to push too hard because they'll they will break up in there after you get that done then it gets a couple more chunks of garlic and some more dill okay so the next part of our process is brining so we put the brine in now I've got this lovely little funnel here that keeps it all funneling in real nice so it doesn't drip everywhere. I'm going to fill it up almost to that ring line. Okay. I'm going to bring it over here. These lids have been sanitized so they're ready to go nice and hot so the rubber is all soft. There we go. Lids and rings. Now it's ready for processing. Okay, now that we've got our cucumbers all in here with the brine and all the rest of the ingredients, we got the lids on, the rings on tight, and all loaded up in the canner rack. Our water is starting to simmer, so it is time for us to go ahead and drop these in. You want to have about an inch of water over the top and then we'll put our lid back on and we'll wait for it to boil. When it boils it's only a five minute process time because of the acidity level of these pickles. And then we're gonna, we're gonna pull them out and get them cooling off. The whole reason for putting the cucumbers in the ice bath and having the cold brine and that whole process is to keep from cooking the cucumbers. In order to have those crispy pickles, you need those cucumbers to be nice and cold when they're packed in the jar and a very short processing time so they don't get cooked. So now that the pickles have been processed and they're actual pickles now and not just cucumbers, we want to make sure that we have a date on them and we can put them in our storage. And then we'll have them.